in Sitam Thika Road, where Christ is the answer. Welcome to Sitam Dikaru Devotionals. My name is Elder Alex Kimani. Don't keep it to yourself. On one afternoon, um, this woman, a Samaritan woman, went to the well to fetch water. And she met Jesus there. And Jesus engaged her in conversation. And he told her of her past and how she had several husbands. And um, this mesmerized the woman. And she was amazed by that and she felt this was too much to contain. And so she went back to her village to tell them of who, of this man she had seen. And um, the village then in, verse, uh, in, uh, in John 4, uh, verse 41, around verse 40, they came to see actually who this man was. Um, and you know, you could have argued that given the past she had, she, should, she could have feared maybe if she went to the village to tell people about this man she had seen, what their view would have been, what would have been their reaction. But we see that uh, they all came to meet the man that she talked about. And I would like to challenge us um, as the basis for my devotion today, not to keep it to ourselves, uh, whatever things we'll have learned, whatever things uh, we have in us. And even as we go through this season and wonder whether these are the end times, whether we are set for eternity, whether we have uh, the faith we have and whether it will take us to eternity. And I would also like to refer um, to John uh, 1. When Jesus was calling his disciples, um, when he had baptized them, and John the Baptist said that this is the Lamb of God, uh, one of the two, first two people to meet him was Andrew. Andrew was the brother to Peter. And Andrew, on uh, meeting this uh, man, he figured this is something that I must share with my brother. And so he went and looked for Peter. And look at uh, what Peter had came to become. He came to become the head of the church. And that, um, and that was just by the action of Andrew going to call him. Because he felt, I have seen someone that I think my brother should also meet. And I would want, um, and when Jesus was leaving, he actually asked us to, uh, to be witnesses, to tell to the world that which we have come across, that which we have learned, what our experience of him. And so I would like to challenge us as we go through this season, um, as people grapple with what this is, the uncertainties, to think about who, which person could I share a message of hope, uh, of the Christ that is in me, or even to come to a more... Uh, practical perspective. There are ways you've learned on how to cope through this um, uh, COVID uh, situation, how to stay uh, sane. People are grappling with uh, mental issues and uh, all that. But some of us have learned how we can cope with uh, this season. And I would like to encourage us, uh, look at people around you, look at people in your family, your friends, people you could encourage, people you could reach out to and give them ideas of how to get through uh, through this season and most of all how to share with them the message of Christ that there is life through this season and even after it into eternity that we are able to carry everyone across uh, we don't know how long this takes and the government has continues to extend the lockdown season and we don't know how long this season will go WHO says uh, COVID may never leave us and so we are adapting to a new normal and so um, if whatever things you've learned how you've learned to cope um, we are all in this storm but in different ships you could help someone sail across from a sinking ship to a ship uh, that you are in that is sailing and um, more importantly uh, if you know Christ it's very critical for you to go share out um, what God has done for you and God does not call us to be pastors or prophets he first calls us to be witnesses to say of the things he's done he's given us life he's given us salvation share it out with those around us and those uh, you are able to reach to because that's what will come through this season not just that you crossed uh, you crossed uh, through the season but also how many people you helped uh, to come across with you and as we close I would like to um, also encourage those of us who do not know Christ and are, are grappling with hope uh, how to get through this season. I have a message of hope for you. Um, just like the, this uh, woman who was at the well, 
when she met Jesus and Jesus explained how different um, we needed to worship uh, the Samaritans and the Jews had different ways of worshiping but Jesus told her you those who need to who worship God need to do so in truth and in spirit and on hearing those messages she went out and told her people um, and asked I would like also to reach out to you you who do not know Christ that you come and explore him that you may learn through him uh, how to get hope and how to walk through this season and even when this season is over um, how to have life eternal um, and if you're out there I would like just you to pray um, and God hears in our closets in our as we walk around in our homes um, that you may find hope um, in Jesus Christ through this season and if you know him um, my message to you is don't keep it to yourself and I think uh, we want us to pray I'll pray for two sets of people. Uh, I want to pray for those of us who are going through a hard season and don't have Christ. And also those of us who know Christ but are still going through the hard season or have got ways of coping. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for each and every person who will watch this devotional. Lord, many are going through this season and we pray especially for those that don't know you. That through this season that someone will speak a message of hope to them and will introduce you to them. And even through this devotion, Lord, that they will seek you and want to know you. Even those who know you, Father, as they go through this season, let their hope be renewed in you. And also rekindle the fire in them, Lord, that they will be able to reach out to those other people who are around them who don't know you that they may be able to cope and father even as we go through this season uh, help us to reach out and to support each other with the things that we have learned uh, with the ways we have learned to cope we pray this trusting and believing in your holy name amen amen have a blessed time keep well and keep safe and don't keep it to yourself